Hello everyone. Thanks for the extra subscribers since I put the Tundra on the channel. Um, thank you so much for anyone that bothered to subscribe, uh, left comments. I'm definitely trying to answer as many comments as I can. Um, of course, that was about the new Tundra, which it's the nighttime right now. I'm out in the shop. Tundra's over there, kind of away for the night. And it, like I said in my last video, it's mud season here. Um, and I'm really trying not to drive the Tundra in too much mud. I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. It only has like 500 and some odd K. I know some people will say, get over it. It's a truck. It should be muddy. But you know what? Uh, that's my truck. And I just want to try to alleviate some of that until like more kind of drier weather comes. So... This um, is my 88 Toyota pickup. Uh, you, If you've seen my channel, you know that it swapped with a old Toyota 2L 2.4 liter naturally aspirated engine. Uh, these things were tough as nails, but slow as molasses. Um, fantastic fuel mileage, awesome sound, fun to drive, slow as hell, but fun. And when you look in this engine bay compared to the Tundra, uh, it's a vast difference. Of course, everything about this truck is a vast difference. Uh, everything. And I love them for two completely different reasons. I love this thing because it's two different colors. Uh, it's in fairly sh good shape. I can hammer it on my dirt roads. I can take it to the dump. Uh, I can take it off road. Um, it has some dents and dings already, so I really don't have to worry about it. So that's my reason for loving this truck. It's a five-speed manual, um, mechanical four-wheel drive. Basically, I can fix anything, almost fix anything myself that I can get parts for. Um, I'm fortunate that I have a whole bunch of mechanics at work that help me kind of find issues as I go and help me with ideas and maybe even the odd tool. But pretty well, I've done everything myself. So uh, it was up all winter. Couldn't do anything with it because the alternator was fried, my old alternator. Um, so I just put a new one in. These alternators are a little bit specific because they have this, you can't really see it in the dark here, but there's a vacuum pump on the back of this alternator. So <clears throat> of course, like every alternator, it gets driven by a belt. That's what charges your alternator. Uh, but also there's a shaft at the backside that runs a vacuum system, which actually runs a brake system in these trucks. The reason for that is that diesel engines, especially the old ones, uh, definitely don't make any vacuum. So they needed a way to do that. So they attached it to the alternator. Thank goodness I was able to find this alternator on Rock Auto, actually. <laughs> so um, I just had to go back a little bit and kind of work differently than looking up an 88 Toyota truck. I had to look up an early to mid 80s Toyota two wheel drive with this diesel, but the parts are all interchangeable on this engine. So that's great. So alternator I just put on today, <clears throat> got the belts back on, got everything sorted. Uh, and it runs of course really well, uh, over the winter it lost its prime. So I had to pump it like a million times to get the diesel in. Uh, didn't even have to crack injectors, just pump, pump, pump until it, I felt pressure. Turned it over a few times, of course, with the glow plugs, and she fired right up and sounded like the tractor that she is. So, <clears throat> just wanted to make a short video, guys. Um, I'll, I'll go inside the truck and show you the starting procedure if you like. Now, of course, it's going to get loud, so you might not be able to hear me over the engine. So, starting procedure in this guy, I'm really sorry it's dark, but we, of course, push the clutch in, we press the glow plug button, which is a manual little glow plug button because this is an engine swap. So we press it for a little bit, we turn the key, and she comes to life.
so that is my Toyota pickup. It's dark out. You can't see much there, so don't bother. Uh, same KO2s. I am a fan of the BFG KO2s. Uh, I know the comments on my Tundra. A few people love them. A few people hate them, but I find asking people about tires is like asking people what half time is best. They all have different opinion for different reasons. Some people love Ford. Some people love Chev. Of course, I love Toyota. Uh, sorry, I forgot Ram. Um, but everyone just loves something for a different reason. I love these KO2s. One, for the look. Two, they're a great all-terrain. And I have had no problem with the wear on them in the past. I know some people have, but uh, we won't argue about that. So, anyways, this is my 88 pickup. I'm going to be driving it for the next little while. If you guys want more information, want videos of it, um, of course, I'm going to be doing some just running around with it. It's just fun. It's in good shape. Uh, Mac truck. My last name's McDonald. So that's the license plate. I thought it was kind of a funny play on words. I've had those plates forever and they fit this truck the best, I think. So um, anyways, any questions, comments? Please let me know. Um, and of course, too, on the Tundra. I'll be doing more Tundra videos, too. Um, I'm going to try not to drive it for the next little while, only because, like I said, it's super muddy. So, um, But anyways, anyone got a question on the Tundras, uh, on the Tundra, please let me know. The one thing I am looking for help on the Tundra is a good set of seat covers. Um, I think I'd like to get a, pair, a set of Carhartt in black. But I don't think that has caught up with the 22 uh, Tundra yet. I think it's only the same as 21. If anyone has had luck, good luck finding good seat covers for a 22 Tundra, please leave me uh, a message in the comment section. Um, I haven't been doing too much Kubota stuff, uh, but I will be do doing more now that the spring is out. I got the tractor out there, uh, the L3800. It's got the snowblower on it still, but thank goodness we're out of snow now. But I will be, of course, doing odds and ends with loader work, um, doing some logs. I got some cedar logs. Anything you guys want to see specifically with the Kubota 3800, please ask me. I've also got the Kubota B6100. That's my lawn tractor. And it's an awesome, awesome, and well, classic, we'll say, Kubota. Uh, from the 80s, it's only got 1,600 hours on it. And I use it as my lawn tractor. Um, I love diesel. If I could have got a diesel Tundra, of course, I think I speak for the majority of people that said they would have. But the numbers out of the new twin turbocharged V6 are very close to diesel. But I love this diesel. I love my Kubota diesels. Anyways, we'll see. Maybe one day I'll have a diesel Tundra, but I doubt it. In the meantime, I have a diesel Toyota pickup, which I love. So any questions? Um, now, I did not do this swap. It was done before I bought the truck. I understand it pretty well now. So if anyone has any questions or anything about the swap, I can pretty well answer them. Um, I know what most everything does now. Uh, it's actually this engine bolted straight up to the regular... I believe it's a W56 uh, five-speed transmission. Please don't uh, grill me in the comments if that's wrong. Uh, I think it's a W56. But anyways, I, I'll have to check again. But it bolted straight up to the five-speed transmission. Regular gears in the back for this one were 410s, I believe. Um, it's slow to start with. I have the 31, 10 and a half. 15 BFGs on originally original factory uh, rims with the front manual lockers um, Soon I bought a lock right rear differential like lunchbox locker I'm not gonna go full ARB or anything on this thing. It's uh, it's just a fun toy But I would like a little bit more traction on trails and in mud so I will be putting that lock right uh, rear differential locker in it I'm more than happy to, once I get that in, let you know how that goes. Um, I am still a very tiny, tiny, tiny channel in the YouTube universe, but it does help if you like and subscribe, of course. Um, you know, I'm just doing this for fun, but uh, I think I've got a few unique pieces that people might want to talk about. So please let me know if you want any more details on this. Uh, until then... It's uh, Yodas and Kubotas signing off on Friday evening, and we will uh, be getting this beast out tomorrow, 
and maybe I'll do a point of view kind of drive or something. But if anyone wants to know anything about it, please let me know. Again, it's an 88 Toyota pickup swapped with a regular old 2L 2.4 naturally aspirated four cylinder diesel. So like I said, bulletproof, slow as molasses, but um, yeah, not the turbo version, but uh, it's a lot of fun and it sounds like a tractor, which I love. So thanks a lot guys for watching the video. Let me know if you need anything from me, comments or anything like that. And until next time, thanks. Bye-bye.